Normally, if you want to use a smart, a smart lock for such kind door lock, for example, this is a door lock, and you unlock your door by the keys. And you, you, if you want to re use a smart lock, you have to replace all the lever handles and lock body cylinders. But now we have another uh, very good solution. You do, you only need to replace the cylinders. So, uh, in the following videos, I show you how to make it working. First, we need to take the cylinders down. Okay, we take cylinders. Here is a screw. Take the screw, screw down. and take the cylinders out and now we take our smart cylinder out this is a screwdriver very important put it away and here is a cylinder this smart cylinder has two functions fingerprint and uh, password in the following videos, let's install and test it. First, take out the screwdrivers and let's take the, cylinder, the screws out. The, the screws is very small, very tiny, so put it away. The best is to put it in the banks. And another, and another screws. Take the cover down. So there are two plastic head. Take the plastic cover. Here we go. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, six uh, batteries. The, the positions so we need to install six batteries but this is too different this is a uh, outside head of the cylinder this is inside before we install the batteries you need to make sure what is the dimension what is the thickness of your door for example this door thickness is okay this door thickness is 42 okay but some some users their dock thickness is if 100 millimeters so how how it work if the dock thickness is very thin okay here we go <coughs> Pull the head very carefully because this is inside head. Inside mm -hmm. head, there is a wire. If you pull pull it very strong, the wire will be will be broken. Okay. Here we can see there is. This is the longest it can go. Okay. Here we go, this is the longest. Okay. So this cylinder can be used and this thickness of 100 and the turn, 100 and the 12, 100. No. 111 to can see the thickness so you can 
adjust the lens of the cylinder. Install the cylinders on the doors first. Okay, take out this cover. The plastic cover carefully. And so you need to watch the screws. You can't, when you take it out, you can make it cut it. Now, insert the cylinder hole. Now use the screws to fix and now make sure here is the screw holes. Here is the holes in the spindle. Make sure they are in the same line, same face. And uh, hole to hole. This hole to the hole in the bottom. And now install the batteries. In, uh, no, install the screws. Here we go. Now, here is a very important point. Connect the wire to the interface. I'll tell you later why why you need to connect. Use a screwdriver to press. And uh, put back the battery cover. And now first put the battery of the outside head. The battery is a triple, triple A, alkaline battery. And the uh, battery cover and uh, the metal cover. Here we go. Open the TT log. No, TT log. And uh, touch the analog, choose the door log, and touch the next. And now press any button of the keypad. I mean, any button. Here is a plug sign. Touch the plug sign and uh, the log has connected to the smart amp. And okay. Here we go. Now, Rich. install the batteries to the inside head of the cylinder. Do not put the third battery inside before before you open. Okay, also choose the door lock next. 
and here we go. You can see the series number, but you can see the plug sign. Put the batteries inside. Here is a plug sign. Now touch the plug sign. Here we go. So this cylinder, one cylinder has two system, two users, two admins. Why? Why is it is designed like this? Okay, put the metal cover back. Here we go. Okay, we use uh, the outside. We use we use the outside head to unlock. When the door lock is inside, you can you can use the lock and unlock without any limit. But uh, you can unlock it if you doesn't get any you know signal. We touch now. Okay, the door lock is unlocked. So, what, what if, I mean, if, if the battery of the outside head is power off, for example, we take one battery out, that means it didn't, you didn't change the battery in time, and uh, when, you, when you return home, you can't, you can't unlock it. For example, entrance one, you press, it doesn't affect, doesn't happen, nothing happen. So what, what to do? Now you need to use the entrance door two, because that wire, that wire is connected to the outside head. We touch the entrance door, door two. So, here we go. You can unlock it from the outside if the battery is not inside, okay? So, this two system is to double secure, make sure you can unlock it anytime, if, if the battery inside is power up. So, you, it's, it's very important. And uh, now, how to use the uh, passcode and the fingerprint unlock. Let's use the passcode. First, we generate passcode. We use a one-time passcode generate. For example, passcode is okay. I I just forget. There's no power in. I need to return the battery back. And now we use the. Uh, Nine, five, one, seven, nine, seven, uh, eight. Okay. Okay, you can unlock. So the passcode is working. Now we use a fingerprint. Fingerprint. Which is the we touch the three point, touch the end and the fingerprint. Which is the time is paramount. Now you will be required to place your finger to the sensor. Okay, to start, use one finger. Different position, different direction. Okay, now this finger is registered in. You can see, you can unlock, but I put my finger on. Now I can unlock the door. Okay, so the fingerprint, the passcode, and the e-case all work.